30 of 2020 working on my mental health. I got really healthy, probably the best I've ever felt in my life, ironically, during a pandemic. But it was the first time in a very long time I wasn't having constant panic attacks and I wasn't feeling depressed all the time. I felt good about life and just excited. But <laughs> this past week, some things have changed and I broke a little bit. Everything that I learned, I completely threw away and reverted back to my old habits. I had a panic attack, I got really sad and depressed, and I thought, well, that whole year was for nothing. I completely reverted and I guess this is just who I am. I'm a person who gets anxious and depressed. And so yesterday I spent the entire day on the couch. I watched Gilmore Girls because it makes me feel better. I just love being able to escape into Stars Hollow and worry about the lives of Lorelai and Rory instead of my own. And I ate junk food. I'd been exercising all week and then yesterday I just ate a bunch of junk food and laid on the couch. And honestly, I don't regret it. I don't regret a single second of it because I needed it. Sometimes you just need to have a bad day and that's perfectly okay. I needed to feel the emotions because my life was a little bit different now, not bad, but different. And I needed to process that. And late last night, I started to get inspired again. And I realized that I don't want to feel like crap. I want to feel better. So I watched an inspiring movie. I watched Yes Man. I watched a video by Yes Theory that inspired me to make this video today. So this morning I woke up, I got out my journal and I made a plan. A plan for what I want my life to be, no matter what the outside circumstances are. Because I can't control those. But the one thing that I control is how I'm gonna react. And I've decided that no matter what, I'm gonna react with positivity. I'm gonna stay calm and I'm gonna make the best out of every single situation. I've taken a massive break from this channel. It wasn't intentional, it just kind of happened. I kept making excuses as to why I couldn't make videos. And it just got harder and harder to start. Every time I wanted to start a video, it felt like this huge task. And I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to make something amazing because it had to be amazing because I've been gone for so long and I just set all these unrealistic expectations for myself that made it impossible to just start. And so when I was watching that Yes Theory video, they said creativity is like a muscle. And if you don't practice and you don't use it, it's gonna be harder and harder to use when you want to. You have to practice every single day. And in order to be successful and to make something really great, you just have to make a lot of stuff. You have to practice, you have to put stuff out constantly and eventually you'll get better and better and better and you'll make something great. And by stopping, I hurt myself. I shouldn't have stopped making things. I didn't have to upload them, but I should have still made stuff because I genuinely love making things. So today I decided I needed to go find some creativity. I grabbed my camera, I came out to the woods, and I didn't really have a plan. I was just gonna film and maybe sit down and have a chat with you. <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting on this giant log in the middle of the woods, hoping that nobody is around and can hear me because that would be really awkward. But I'm just kind of enjoying the day. Taking a break from it all and reminding myself why I'm happy to be alive. And this is it. There's so much to do. I can go for walks, I can film stuff, I can talk to my family and my friends. There's so many things in my life that I am incredibly grateful for and sometimes I just have to remind myself. So basically this long-winded story is I wanna make stuff again. I wanna make bad stuff and good stuff and great stuff. I just wanna make stuff. Hopefully not too much bad stuff, but it's probably inevitable. I miss it. I miss creating, I miss traveling. With COVID it's really hard, but all you have to do is travel into the woods sometimes. That's traveling. There's a quote that I have in my room at home. Done is better than perfect. And right now I'd love to have some stuff done. <laughs> I need to set aside that expectation of perfection and just make things, make memories, and just connect with you guys because that's what I love doing and I, I really miss it. So it's getting dark. I should probably head out. Thanks for listening.